Silver Chains is a first-person horror game developed by Cracked Heads Games. You play as Peter, who crashes his car in front of an old mansion and ventures inside to find help. Despite seeing signs of life when he walked up, he finds only horrors inside. Scattered notes and scripted interactions reveal the fate of the house's residents. The story is held up by commonly used horror tropes, and while it does tie all three of them together, it doesn't do anything new with them. Despite Silver Chain's emphasis on story, every reveal will feel familiar. The developers did an excellent job making the house easy to navigate without a map. The gameplay mostly consists of exploring the mansion to piece together the story by solving puzzles, finding keys to unlock new areas and shortcuts, and hiding from a mysterious creature. While the graphics mostly look good, their appeal is cheapened by the repetitive use of limited assets. Every dilapidated room is a mixture of sheet-covered furniture, chairs, debris, and two or three other assets. Aside from the main creature, the animations were stiff and lacked any personality. The well-mixed and designed audioscape helps set the tone for both exploring and chase sequences. Silver Chains mostly relies on jump scares, but the build-up, volume, and variety of situationally specific sounds adds to the tension. The moment-to-moment -moment performance was fine, but harsh frame rate and sound stuttering precedes the creature's surprise appearances, killing the tension by alerting you it's coming. Turning the graphics down helped some, but it didn't cure the problem. While Silver Chains is built on exploring, there's rarely anything unique to see in the rooms, and few things happen between destinations. You're also forced to do a lot of backtracking, since you can't pick up key items until you know you need them. There's also several points where progression was unclear or relied on stumbling upon a scripted event elsewhere in the mansion. The result is that it can feel like Silver Chains is wasting your time between set pieces. If you like B-movie horror, or the jump scares or atmosphere of games such as Layers of Fear or Five Nights at Freddy's, you may enjoy Silver Chains. But with very few scary moments, an unremarkable story, and a forgettable setting, I wouldn't recommend the game to anyone else. Silver Chains is available now on Steam, with PS4, Switch, and Xbox One releases coming later.